Hey people around the world, my name is Reagan. Many of you may have seen a video I published recently which entails a NASA scientist protesting in front of a Chase Bank. This in individual's name is Peter Kalmus, and if you're watching this right now, I do encourage you to keep watching. I want to apologize that I didn't ask for your permission to post the video, but I think now is the time to break the silence and tell you how we really feel. You know, you're very respectable, person. I'm not talking down or trash on anything you do or done. And who am I to speak? Well, I did go to college, I did take geology, and I've been studying climate science on my own, which is not difficult because all the resources are available online. You can access peer-reviewed papers pretty much on the regular and do all the research yourself. If you're an autodidact, it doesn't take that much. But I do follow you on Twitter and I just wanted to address this maybe slight beef you have with doomers. I don't know what universe or frame of mind you operate in, or that you're just in denial, that the facts are indisputable. Okay, we're locked in for at least 3.2 degrees Celsius of warming. There's 421 parts of CO2 in the atmosphere. You would know this. You're the NASA climate scientist. You would know the methane explosions going off. You would... You would you would see this. You would understand that there's dozens of self-reinforcing feedback loops. You would understand that we are addicted, literally fossil fuel addicted at this point. Stopping and getting off of fossil fuels would, would, take, it would take everything out of us. You wouldn't be able to get to work. No medicine for your kids. We're actually consuming 1.8 Earths every year. Okay, so we're locked in, and really, we're headed for like 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. So I follow you occasionally on Twitter. I just want to throw some stats out there real quick. All of this is verified by, by NOAA. Okay, I'm not coming up with this stuff. You, you, you would have access to their database, right? You said recently, it's incredible to me how many people aren't yet terrified by the climate emergency. Like, what are you, you know, did you graduate college like last year? What's the deal, dude? People don't give a living shit. Okay, they don't care about long-term threats, man. They could barely even worry about putting food on the, on the, for the next week. People want, would rather die than give up their luxury, than, buy, than buying a new truck, than going on that vacation with their children. Like, either you have a, an immense misunderstanding of human psychology, or you were just born yesterday. But clearly, you know, people don't care. And calling us cowards is just callous man like what do you need me to do you want me to go detonate myself in front of chase bank do you want me to go slit my wrists in front of the campus and lay down with a climate change sign uh, you know the noah expert showing the graph of temperature next to me like what do we need to prove to you i think it takes more courage to to accept that it's done it's a done deal we have embedded ourselves into way more warming than we can even possibly handle so you just make these these tweets, you know, and, and I, I applaud your camaraderie, and I don't know how wrapped up you are in the system that you can't say much, but like, why aren't you saying the real truth is that we're not going to get out of this. We're not going to take every car off the road. We can't even, we can't even mandate or build, have the production to build renewable appliances for the world within three years. Are you kidding me? So... You made this comment, and I'm kind of, uh, this tweet, I'm kind of inclined to believe that it, 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 you possibly saw my content. So in case you did, or this pops up in, tr in, in trending, you know, hello, there are some people who have given up and seem to want others to give up. It's a cop-out, and it's cowardly. They're doomers. I couldn't disagree with them more. I am not one of them. Fine, then you're just, you're just a little delusional. That's okay. I don't hate you. I'm not going to call you a coward. Your next tweet, I feel the need to once again point out that I am not a doomer. Yes, world leaders are taking us to a terrifying place. This is reality. But it's not too late to fight. It's already too late, man. We got 421 parts per million baked in. We are headed for Pliocene, potentially Eocene-type temperatures. All right? Unfavorable to like exactly like you said in your video. We're going to lose everything. I agree with you. I'm fighting as hard as I can, urging everyone else to fight as well. This is not doomer behavior. Look, man, we're just realistic. I know a fight when I when it's loss, okay? I'm not an idiot. And how did those climate talks in Bonn just go near Germany? 
Nothing. Espinosa just said, we're not anywhere near our Paris Climate Accord goals. We're nowhere near it. Nor do we have the public consent. Look, there are no authentically democratic institutions left in this country. We couldn't even vote on it if we even tried. Okay? Most of the public is terrifyingly in the dark and has, has, has no idea, man. And they won't. And, and I've banged on hoods. I've laid down in traffic. I've done it all. You're at risk of burnout, too. I'm telling you. Start encouraging people to live to the fullest, to live in now. I know you want to click away right now, but it's like, no, no, you need to reverse the message if you are really cur courageous. Tell your children to enjoy the moments they have. Live for the moment. You're fighting a losing battle. And you know it. I think you're a little bit in denial. Clearly. So, the second part of this video, I'll publish later. Open your eyes. It's exponential, irreversible, and out of our control. Get with it.